What's up YouTube? So I was about to help my friend Luke change a few basement windows and I realized we should probably make a YouTube video about this because almost everybody with an old house has shitty basement windows and uh, we could all change them in like one afternoon if we get around to it. Cut. So what you see here is pretty typical. We got cracked up glass, a bunch of paint and spider webs and shit and in this case some foam and stuff where a previous owner has tried to patch up a hole in the window. Um, we can get rid of all of this and all you need to know is how big of a window to order. So in most basements and old houses have kind of a brick board around them. Just measure that dimension like this. So here I've got 29 and a half inch space. In this dimension I've got 20 and a quarter inch space. That's called your rough opening and that's what you want to match as the rough opening for whatever new window you order. So here we have the equally shitty interior view. Uh, the windows of this age don't even really open all that well, or if they do open, it's rare to have a functioning screen. We've got beautiful stuff like this. It just has to go. Why are you living with windows like this in your basement? I'm not even sure how this guy's attached, so... Might have to kick it in from the outside. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay if you break the window. Oh man, you broke the window. <laughs> we are almost ready to put in the new window already, if you can believe it. Just have to get rid of a few more obstructions like pieces of trim, molding, whatever was accompanying the old window. So this is the moment of truth. If you've ordered the windows correctly, then it should just go in, and this thing is called the nail fin, and that goes on to this, which is called the brick mold, or just the frame. And we'll see how this one works. Oh yeah. So, as expected, you have a bit of freedom to adjust this sucker. Um, I usually like to place them at the top of the opening to give you a bit more light. So I'm gonna pull that up, set it from left to right, put in two screws for starters then we'll go inside and check to make sure it looks reasonable from in there let's check how it fits now that we're mostly done installing it not bad open the clothes get ventilation and then the final step is just squirt some great stuff foam or similar brand into these cracks let that dry trim it off and then add some wood and trim whatever you like for your own style 